Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome to Cooking with Taz. If you're craving for cookies and looking for an easy cookie recipe to bake, in this video I'm going to share with you guys how to make easy oats cookies. This is an eggless cookie recipe and it's made with oats. So oats is a healthy ingredient that's rich in fiber and it's always found in our pantry. For making these cookies, I've added brown sugar instead of white sugar. So brown sugar will make these cookies really delicious and it will impart that beautiful and nice caramelized flavor. So let's get started and let's bake crunchy and delicious oats cookies. Into a bowl, let's mix all the dry ingredients, adding one and a half cups instant oats. So this is not the old-fashioned rolled oats that's much thicker. So this is thin instant oats. Half cup all-purpose flour. So next let's add half teaspoon baking powder. Two tablespoon raisins. These are golden raisins. You can also add black raisins. Next, adding quarter cup chopped pecans. You can literally add any kind of nuts, almonds or walnuts or cashew nuts. Next, adding one teaspoon vanilla extract. Good quality vanilla extract will make a huge difference in taste and flavor of these cookies. So mix everything well using a spatula. Keep this aside. So next, let's mix all the wet ingredients into a bowl. I'm going to add one stick or half cup butter. So this is slightly softened butter. I'm using my electric hand mixer and going to beat the butter well. If you have a stand mixer, use that and use the paddle attachment. I have a stand mixer, however, I felt lazy to take that out of my pantry. So putting my electric hand mixer to use. To the beaten butter, going to add 3 quarter cup brown sugar. So for making this cookies, we need to add brown sugar and not white sugar. So brown sugar will impart a nice caramelized taste and flavor to these cookies. So please use brown sugar. Beat the brown sugar and butter really well at low speed for at least 3 to 5 minutes. It has creamed well, so to this going to add the prepared dry ingredients or the oats flour mixture. So add everything to the beaten butter and brown sugar. At low speed, gently mix everything well, so make sure it is at low speed. And give it a good mix so that everything is well incorporated. Everything has mixed well, so this is good. Let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. It will take a few minutes for the oven to preheat. I have lined a baking sheet with parchment paper. So using my clean hand, I'm giving everything a good mix. So here's our oats cookie dough. Going to make medium sized balls and going to flatten it between the palm of my hands. Place the flattened dough on the parchment paper and let's repeat this. So with this recipe we'll be able to make 10 cookies. Do not crowd the flattened dough, leave some space. So when we bake this, it's going to expand. So if there isn't enough space, it's going to be a mess. So leave at least three inches space between each flattened dough. Here are the flattened oats cookie dough that are ready to be baked.
Let's place the baking sheet into the preheated oven. So I'm going to place it on the lower rack. So the oven has already been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Bake the cookies for 20 minutes. As you can see, the cookies have started to expand. And right now, my kitchen is smelling incredible. The fragrance of butter and brown sugar, it smells amazing. It's been 20 minutes. I'm going to take the cookies out of the oven. So look at those beautiful oats cookies and place it on the countertop. So at this point, as we take it out of the oven, it will be very soft. So we need to allow the cookies to cool down for at least 15 minutes. That's when it will firm up and it will turn crunchy. So I know it's so tempting to take a bite of this, but we need to allow it to cool down. The cookies have cooled down a bit. So next I'm going to transfer the cookies to a wire rack and let it cool down completely. So that's when it will turn crunchy and it will firm up. Here are the delicious and crunchy oats cookies. These are my absolute favorite. It's highly irresistible. Once I start munching on this, I cannot stop it. So after it has cooled down, it will turn really crunchy. And if you have any leftovers, you can store it in an airtight container. Trust me guys, you wouldn't have any leftovers. Uh, it's that delicious. Here are the delicious, crunchy and easy to make oats cookies. So after you have taken the cookies out of the oven, let it cool down for a few minutes. That's when it will firm up and turn crunchy. These are my favorite cookies and this will make a perfect homemade gift during the holiday season. So do make these cookies and let me know your feedback. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.